Hi, I'm Ajay Agarwal. I'm a consultant clinical oncologist and the new clinical director for NatCan. NatCan was built on the background of, you know, over a decade of cancer audits. Uh, NatCan really brings together 10 cancer audits in total. They're new ones, so originally there was bowel cancer, lung, a prostate and esophageal, but we've now moved to six new cancer audits, which is exciting over this year. So that's in ovarian, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, pancreatic cancer, kidney cancer, um, and two breast cancer audits. So really does bring those, aligns those together within a hub, which can work collaboratively, both with partners, but also in terms of the reporting of outcomes for patients that matter. Yeah, I've been, I've been fortunate to have worked within uh, the audits for a decade now, so I've seen it all in terms of how you set up an audit, how you try and develop uh, and deliver outcomes that matter and report those to look at variation across the country. Whether we like it or not, there is variation in the quality of care, and I think audits provide that way of both exposing that, but then also finding a means of managing it. And I think across these different cancers, the particular specificities in terms of the treatment, and I think as clinical director it's harmonising those, make sure that everyone sets off on a similar footing and that we can expand and work together. So we both have the efficiency but we have a programme that is robust and easy to access for patients and clinicians. Yeah, so I think NatCan in terms of a footprint, we still have to make sure that people are aware that NatCan exists both within clinical policy uh, and patient and public communities. I think that's a big thing. You know, NatCan represents, as I said, these 10 cancer audits. It's focused in England and Wales, but also what we're trying to achieve. You know, we have a culture where there's a relentless focus on innovation, which is important, but actually what matters is that patients who need treatment get that treatment and it's of good quality and those are the fundamental principles of what NatCan is trying to achieve and so over the next 12 months there's going to be importance with dissemination engagement. We can't work alone, we have to work with our partners whether it's NHS England, um, the different professional bodies and also part of that role is to see how we can interface with those so that we can actually have more impact and outcome. And third of all I think it's really important we work with civil society, work with the charity sectors and patient bodies so that people understand what we're trying to do, that we are a resource and that we actually want to be responsive to what the community need. Yeah, I think it does it on three rungs, really. So, uh, sadly, people are diagnosed with cancer, and that can be a, a difficult time. And one of the queries that often happens is about the quality of the care at the hospital. Particularly, people want to know, does it have the adequate resources or structure? Are they following the evidence-based processes of care? And is there any difference in the outcomes of care? And I think not necessarily everyone wants to know that information, but the key is the transparency that it affords people going through that situation or their carers or their public, that we have a resource uh, that's ensconced within the NHS which seeks to provide that transparency um, for the patients to make decisions or inform them, but equally for clinicians uh, and providers in the policy sector to improve the care that we deliver. First of all, the data is much better than it used to be. So uh, it's very complete. It has looks at all the facets of care. So this is not just about surgery. It's people's systemic therapy. It's about radiotherapy. Then there's been a lot of research to also try and develop outcomes. These aren't necessarily something that you can look up. So are we able to understand outcomes that matter to patients and to create that in a robust manner? The next bit, I think, is around culture, um, both that outcomes matter. As I said, we have a focus that we need a new piece of innovation to improve outcomes but actually we can do a huge amount within our existing resources and we need to understand that so where I think we can really move forward is the what next so here are the outcomes there is this variation how can we encourage hospitals um, the communities to improve that quality of care and I think that's a really understanding the science of performance is going to be a big thing in terms of improving the equity and quality of care for patients I think for fundamentally cultural change. People know that performance or outcomes is important and that's across the communities and it's just as important as the innovation that you buy in or use. Equity is incredibly important. I think that's the, the first big thing. Second of all, we understand the link between reporting and outcomes. Third of all, we are ambitious in terms of how we look at patient care. So patient reported outcomes and experience measures. We've done it before in the prostate cancer audit. We would look to see if this can be done routinely across other cancers and also grow our footprint. You can learn a lot from looking at different systems uh, and potential 
potential future areas might be comparing ourselves to international systems, for instance, or seeing who might do it better or in a way that we can learn and improve. I think I come with the experience of 10 years and know that will happen. I think each year on year there's been significant learning, the data improves, and I think we're responsive but still understand fundamentally this is about patient care and experience, and we need all working towards that, so I'm very positive about it.